All right, what's up everyone? Today I am going to go over how to set up Facebook advertising video campaigns. Um, so basically where you're bidding for video views, uh, your, your video is going to show in the Facebook timeline. Um, if you use Facebook, you know basically exactly what they look like. They come up all the time. If you don't use Facebook, basically what you have is a Facebook post is going to go out with your video in it and it's just going to be an advertisement. You're paying per video view or you're basically paying per impression and you're hoping to get a lot of video views, hoping to generate a lot of interest, a lot of buzz about whatever your product or service is. So um, what we're going to do first is when you come in here, you're going to have basically your ad account that's connected to your page. Um, I'm using Business Manager, so this is my Ads Manager account within it. Um, if you're not sure how all this works, a little bit complicated. You could always contact us. We can help you get started with everything. Um, we do have hopefully some videos coming out about how to set everything up, but we don't have any yet. So if you need help, you can always contact us. We can help you get started with everything. Um, what you're going to do first is come up here and click Create Ad. So this, this green button up here. And basically, you're going to come to this screen where you're setting up your campaign and you're choosing an objective. Um, so for us, we're going to do, for consideration, it's going to be down here. It's going to be Video Views. So campaign name up here. So I'm just going to do Surfside PPC. And I'm going to do a Pinterest video. So I'll just do Pinterest video campaign. So video views, they have a little tip here. You could do that tip if you want, but <clears throat> ad set name. So for ad set, you're basically doing who you're targeting. So let's just say I want to target small business owners. So I want to target small business owners who need help on Pinterest. Um, so I'm going to do everyone in the United States. Um, let's do, let's just go 22 and up. Um, I like to go a little bit above 18, depending on what my offer is. Since it's more of a business offer, usually people who are a little younger aren't as, you know, interested in business until they get, you know, into their mid twenties. So hopefully, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of 18 year old entrepreneurs out there, but, um, so here's our um, you could do custom audience up here if you want. We don't have any custom audiences. This is like retargeting an email list, and you could also build lookalike audiences off of them. Um, but we're not going to worry about that. So for locations, I serve the United States, so we're going to do everybody in the United States. Gender, we're going to do all. Just keep it as is. Languages, let's do English because my video is in English. Detailed targeting. So I said before I want to target small business owners, so only type in small business owners. Um, so basically anybody who has it set up as their behavior here, not just interests. I want to do anybody who has it set up as a behavior that they're, they list themselves as a small business owner. So I'm probably going to reach some people who might not be ultra interested. So maybe what I want to do is narrow my audience a little bit and just say, let's make sure they're also interested in entrepreneurship. So now I have small business owners and let's just say small business and let's add this small business owners interest in here. So basically what I'm saying is, these people have to be small business owners and actually show active interest in all these things because you might have some small business owners who just use Facebook for personal reasons. I want small business owners who use Facebook and go on it and, you know, talk about entrepreneurship, talk about their business. So basically it brings my potential reach down to 2.8 million, plenty of people for sure. Um, so that's good there. Add a connection type. So I want to say exclude people who like my page and my page is Surfside PPC. So exclude anybody who likes my page. Um, if you want to save this audience, if this is something you want to use for later, you just click right here, save audience, and you can name it and save it. Um, I'm probably not going to use this later, so we'll just uh, keep it as is. Um, so how it goes with placements is, and this is new here, Facebook has in-stream videos and instant articles. Um, so that's an option for you. Since this is how to do a Facebook video view campaign, I'm going to go to edit placements. Um, we're going to get rid of Instagram here. We're going to get rid of the audience network here. And we're going to check our Facebook. So basically what we have for Facebook, it's going to be right column, in-stream video. Since I have such a long video, I don't want to do this. Um, instant articles and feeds. So basically all these three right here. Um, in-stream videos I would usually do if I, had a, if I had a shorter video. So if I my video is about eight minutes long. So I'm going to do basically a feed instant article for people who want to view the video. In-stream, I'm just going to do, if I have a, a shorter video, maybe something a minute or less, hopefully 30 seconds or less, uh, because most people aren't going to stop what they're doing for eight minutes ever. So um, just Facebook, I have feeds, instant articles, and I have right column. So budget and schedule, we'll keep the $20 daily budget. 
we'll do set a start and end date and I'll do it for 31 days. So I'll spend no more than $620. Um, this is good to know if you have a different budget. So let's say my budget's a little bit higher. Maybe I go, you know, $25 a day and we see this will automatically update. So if my budget's $800, okay, this is perfect. Now I'll come in a little bit under budget. So let's click continue. So now what we've done so far is we've done our campaign. We set up our objective as video views. We've done our ad set and we set our audience, we set our placements on Facebook, and we budgeted and scheduled how we want our campaign to go. Um, so basically how it's going to work with our format is we're just going to do a single video. So I just want to upload one video. Um, you can upload multiple videos, you can do a slideshow of images, and it basically looks like a video. And you can do um, a canvas, which involves a lot of different pieces, basically for storytelling. So you can do a video, you can do a URL, you can do images. So different things for like storytelling is where canvas works out. We're gonna have single video here, and basically what you want to do is, if you have videos, you can go to browse library. So I have my video here already. I uploaded it before. What you're gonna to want to do is click upload video and upload it. It's gonna take a while to upload, so that's why I uploaded mine a little bit ahead of time. So you upload it. So let's just pretend I just uploaded this, select it, and it's gonna come up right away. So it comes up immediately. So that's that's perfect for me. So. Um, you can choose a thumbnail for your video. I've done a lot of testing with video thumbnails and not using video thumbnails, and I've never seen a huge difference. So what I usually recommend to people is have something just colorful in the background. If it automatically comes up, fine. So this is perfect for me because I'm going to have text around the video saying, like, learn how to set up a Pinterest ads traffic campaign and contact us for help. Um, so if there's some color there, and it's not a huge deal. The video starts so quickly in your timeline that nobody really even sees a thumbnail that much. So um, we're going to leave this. Um, so you can do captions with your videos. If I've done them for shorter videos, but for longer videos, they can be a little bit more difficult. Um, you can generate automatically, but you're definitely going to have to review them. I'm not going to do that right now. But for sure, you want to do this, definitely, is set up captions if you have a shorter video and you're able to set them up. So let's click X here. Not worry about video captions, but I would recommend them as well. But for this longer video, I'm not going to set them up right now. So Beachfront Decor is one of my clients, so I'm going to come over here and just do Surfside PPC. Beachfront Decor is nice enough to let me make a lot of videos about them. So, um, so Surfside PPC here... Um, what I'm doing basically is showing people how to set up a Pinterest ads traffic campaign. So what I want to do with the text is describe exactly what my video is. So discover how to set up Pinterest advertising and contact us today for help. So this probably isn't the actual video I'd send out as an infomercial, but it's just the video I had on hand that I recently re recorded. So discover how to set up Pinterest advertising and contact us today for help. So hopefully someone watches the video and says, hey, this is a little bit too complicated. They go on my website right here at a website URL. And hopefully they decide, you know what, let's uh, let's give this, this company a try. So H... So let's just say contact. So I'll send them right to my contact page. I just want to set up a little bit of tracking into Google Analytics. So UTM campaign equals, and let's just do, you know, Facebook video Pinterest example. And UTM source equals Facebook. So you have to set up source and campaign. That's it. Um, if I was doing multiple videos, I would track them separately. If I was doing multiple ad sets, I would track them separately. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to do this one. Um, display link, just pull out my link right here. Perfect. So for headline, so I'm just going to do contact us for Pinterest ads help. Um, so that's going to come up here at the bottom. And for newsfeed links description, I'm going to do something very quick. Let's just go, uh, so discover how to get started with Pinterest ads. Advertising today and contact Surfside PPC if you need any help. So maybe basically an informative video where maybe I hope that someone gets gets caught up. Um, even though my tutorials are just incredible, but no, I'm just kidding. So basically, I have everything set up now. I have my video uploaded here. Um, I have it going to the right page. I have my text here. When people click on it, they're going to go through to my contact form on my website. So. Uh, maybe you want to do a contact form that's specific to Pinterest, um, but I just have a, a, a huge contact form for everything right now. So discover how to get started, call to action, learn more. Um, you can change it if you want. 
Um, you could do maybe watch more different things, but let me just do learn more. That's fine. Um, so it's saying my ad might not run because there's too much text in the ad image. That's not going to be an issue uh, with a video ad. They're kind of looking at this like a video ad, but it's fine. So place order. That's fine. It's not an ad. It's a video. All right, so basically my order has been placed. It's in review right now. Um, I'll get a notification once it's once it's good. Um, you can track conversions with the Facebook Pixel. I don't have that set up, but you can do that with your video ads. Um, you can do a duplicate ad. Um, if you want to change the ad copy up or something like that, it might be a little quicker right here. But I'm just going to click Continue. And now basically we have our Surfside PPC Pinterest video campaign. Um, we're sending it out to small business owners with some of those different rules we have who have some interests in entrepreneurship. Um, you're going to see here, so here's my ad name, Pinterest or Beachfront Decor Video Views, Delivery. Let's go see posts so I can see what it looks like. And now you can just see exactly what it looks like. It's going to start playing automatically. So right now it's playing. Um, so that's why maybe doing a thumbnail is not as important. Um, so just cover how to set up Pinterest advertising. When someone clicks through, they're going to go right to my website and that's basically it. So now I have everything set up for Pinterest advertising and, uh, that's basically all I need. So, uh, thanks for joining me today. Make sure you stay tuned and, uh, subscribe to our channel. If you need any other help, uh, you could always contact us at Surfside PPC. Um, otherwise, uh, just stay tuned for some more of our advertising videos for sure.